All right, let's get this video started, man. Y'all already know what to do. Smash that like button. Rest in peace and nip. Yo, 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 yo. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV. We back here with another video. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel because I don't know what you're waiting on, to be honest. Share the video. Keep that notification bell on so you know when I'm dropping my video. But you see that like button right there, y'all? Ladies and gentlemen, smash that like button. It's free. It ain't going to hurt or cost you. Smash the like button. Support the channel. Try to get your membership. Join T Smoke also if you could. But we got to talk about this right quick. Something caught my, caught my attention again, watching all these interviews and people talking. That part, what are we talking about? I was watching Brick Baby. Shout out to Brick Baby out there in the West Coast. He was on Cam Capone. Shout out to Cam Capone News. If y'all don't uh, subscribe to Cam Capone, make sure y'all subscribe to Cam Capone News. Definitely dope on interviews over there. So Cam Capone News, whatever, he did an interview with Brick Baby. And um, Brick Baby kind of said something. And I was like, yo, you know what's crazy? I was thinking the same thing when this first happened. Now, remind y'all, Brick Baby got locked up April 2nd. Rest in peace of the great Nick. He died March 31st. What are we talking about here? So that's telling me homeboy was out in the streets for damn near 48 hours until the authority called him, LAPD. And we're going to play that news clip. Remember when LAPD called him, they say he tried to, you know, hop out, run inside a mental place. He was on his way to the mental place, allegedly. But see, my thing is, everybody as far as that family, in the, you know, Nick family in the street, the sick show and all that, his big homie cowboy, you know, his best friend, Rand Paul, whatever, Rand Paul, a.k.a. Got to just say Rand Paul, man, because I don't know if you had that strap or not on, on you allegedly. And everything I speak on is alleged also on this video. So you ran. I don't care what you say on Rand Paul. But my thing is, they knew who Eric Holder was before the authorities even got their hands on him 48 hours. Let that man with in your brain and your soul. Nah, smoke what you talk. When I break, when I play this interview with Break ba Break Baby said, and it's, and it's confirmed because Black Sam said the same thing also. Homeboy hadn't been around the hood in like in years, months, whatever you want to call it. He hadn't been around in years. He don't even hang around there. He was hanging Brick Baby saying he was in Long Beach somewhere for several years, but his family still lived in the hood. So obviously he was still. Let me tell y'all something. The whole thing what I'm trying to what I'm trying to explain here is why y'all let authorities get their hands on them 48 hours. Don't y'all got a dude named Big U, cowboy that's supposed to be the big homie? Come on, we talking about the motherland over there. They know when everybody, they know where everybody, they know when niggas land in the airport in the LEX. Oh yeah, we got some East Coast They know everything, nigga. Y'all trying to tell me y'all could y'all ain't know where Eric Holder was at for 48 hours. But y'all had Big you, allegedly. You telling me you didn't know where Eric Holder was at for 48 hours, big homie? But you had all this love for Nick, you saying? Nah, I don't believe that. We got to go through this. We got to go through this. We got. I got to react to these interviews, and I got to speak what I got to speak because it just doesn't make no sense at all. And we're going to talk about this. So smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all comment, share the video. Copyright, fair use, disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on over here is for educational entertainment purpose. Again, copyright fair use disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on over here is for educational entertainment purpose. Clips and videos I play also owned by the original creators. So we're gonna play this. We're gonna play this clip with Brick Baby and Cam Capone News, and he he's talking about basically what I'm talking about. That's what kind of caught my attention also, because he like, yo, how that? Let's get to Brick Baby. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video, man. Even the PC, even if he go PC, special needs, or whatever, they gonna get his... You see what the judge said. He wasn't doing no bullshit. Nipsey was loved by a lot of people, so, you know what I'm saying? This green light go at this point. My dog, Rimpaw, thank God that he wasn't on no bunk when I came home. Um, I be hollering at him. And I kind of got some closure from it. You get what I'm saying? I can't really talk about what we talked about, but I kind of got some closure from it. Yeah, even be able to deal with seeing my 
and not doing nothing to them because my was holding like I feel like they was with withholding information for me out of them trying to like put a guilt put the guilt on me like make me the scapegoat they got to be mad at somebody like you know what I'm saying and I feel like y'all wasn't mad enough because the authorities got cuz name so don't 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 let me get to popping how I pop on um, six so the authorities should that nigga's a nobody that had a thousand followers on Instagram and daddy live in the same spot that he been living in on uh, RSC like on the dead homies do something to cuz lived in the same spot he been living in they let the authorities get him in 48 hours I want y'all to sit back and let that marinate in y'all brain and y'all soon how I'm trying to paint this picture for y'all because as a big homie like Big U, man, let me tell y'all something. The way he be talking, I broke down in my other videos. Though, man, I run the West Coast, everything come through here. I know. And then it was allegedly, you know, he got connected. He got connects with the authorities. Allegedly, this what Wack 100 said. This what a lot of people be saying behind back end. They saying that yeah, Big U is connected with the authorities. So my thing is, as you a big homie. And we know that family is one of the biggest families out there in the West Coast, six. So you telling me you couldn't find Eric, you couldn't find Eric for 48 hours, Eric Coda. You that's what you tell it. Cowboy too. None of y'all niggas ain't jumping the car, riding around looking for this nigga. None of that. The nigga wasn't even leaving out of state. The nigga still was in LA County, bro. What are we talking about here? That's how I know somebody sent him. Allegedly, that was a mission, man. Because they wanted that boy to get arrested. That's the only way he was gonna survive. Number one. We gonna well, I got a lot to say. Let's continue with Brick Baby, man. Shout out to Brick Baby for even bringing this up because this makes a lot of sense. Now I gotta throw my two cents to now, I mean, throw my little opinion on top of that because what he's saying makes a lot of sense. 48 hours later. Gotta remind y'all, Nick died March 31st, Sunday, early afternoon. Going into the next day, April 1st, all day. 20, going into the next day now, April 2nd. He ain't get caught till like early afternoon, like mid afternoon, ever. Man, let's continue, man. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Do something to cuz. That's what you should have did. You should have did something to cuz. Everybody that's sitting here crying about it and all that, like, how did the authorities get anything? How did they even get his real name? How did they get his hood name or anything? You get what I'm saying? Them, 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 them civilians that was sitting around, Eric ain't been in the hood for years. You get what I'm saying? He been on Crystal and Long Beach for years. You get what I'm saying? Them civilians didn't know that name. You get what I'm saying? Like the police wasn't just interviewing everybody about that. You just dead wrong. Cause y'all motherfuckers was spooked and you told the police what happened. And I know for a fact that Black Sam didn't. You get what I'm saying? They never, they never seen the footage from, from the t-shirt shop. Tell me where, where, where that's been released at. You get what I'm saying? And the case is over with, so it will have to be public record. So that's why I salute my big bro like how I do. Cause he, he was gonna handle his candle but it's like, how you gonna handle your candle when everybody is rushing to the authorities about this? You know what I'm saying? And I. He gotta be talking about Black Sand. I don't know what big bro he talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he's talking about Black Sand. I'm assuming, because Black is like, yo, he's. I'm, I'm assuming. I don't know if he's talking about Big U. Big U was gonna handle that. But I doubt that. That's the only thing. Now, if he's talking about, I salute my big homie because he was gonna handle that. But how, how he was gonna handle that. If the authorities really got his hands on him. So I don't know if he's talking about Black Sam. I'm hoping he was talking about Black Sam, because pretty much so I think he was talking about Black Sam. Because Black Sam was gonna handle that. Let's get to that part. He just needed a little bit more time. Now it goes back to what I was saying. Why you let the authorities get him 48 hours? Why you let them get their hands on him? You see what the picture I'm trying to paint here, if the street politics would have got involved in it and they would have got their hands on him. They would have got more information out of him. Let's get to that part. 
They wouldn't just knock them off and all that. Now, I mean, everything I speak on is alleged also. They wouldn't just knock them off. Oh, they would have tried to get some information out of um, Eric and try to see who the hell sent you to go do that. Meaning if it was Black Sam and them that was going to handle that. And I think he was talking about Black Sam. Because I can't, I can't see Big U handling that. Because he would have handled that right away. They knew what car he pulled up in. They knew the girlfriend. They knew all that. These people are residents. Like Brick Baby said, man, his father, grandpa, whatever, still live in the hood and all that. And y'all trying to tell me y'all couldn't, y'all ain't know, y'all ain't know where Eric was at. That's hard for me to believe, bro. And I know people are gonna say, nah, smoke, but they knocked off allegedly some of his family. It was a little war. But listen, may everybody rest in peace that got knocked off and all that. I don't know. I'm from the, I mean, we from the East. We really don't get that West Coast news over there. So if that did happen, if there was a little war going on with that nip thing, make sure y'all comment below and tell me if that's true or not. Because the war they posted, the person they really supposed to have grab is Eric. That's the one. And you telling me a nigga like that was running around the whole L.A. County for 48 hours and nobody come find that nigga? That's one of the biggest families out there. What are we talking about? And if Big U had a lot of love for Nick, he would have put that phone call in, in the back end. That nigga went in and made it to the police, made it to the mental. What are we talking about here, man? Let that have been Big U, nephew, or close friend, relative, or something like that. God bless. Man, Big U would have got that person caught man, less than less than 24 hours by his street family. Not the law, street family. If that was Big U, close relative, like, nah, I mean, man, that person would have been got caught. The authorities would have never got their hands on that person. But see, that's what made me think it wasn't that much love for, um, for Nick. Like, 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 like Brick Baby said, where's the footage in the, in, the, in the t-shirt shop? We still didn't even get that footage yet. Oh, I ran through three doors and all that. That's the big homie, right? I ran through three doors. I had to go through three doors, go to the... Where is the t-shirt footage at? I want to see. And the only one got that is Black Sam, bro. Black Sam is the only one, allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged, is the only one who probably got that footage. Because this just don't make no sense. How the hell this person was around the area for 48 hours? Let's continue with Brick Baby, because he makes a lot of sense on this. And I agree with him on this. Absolutely, I agree with him. Because he's giving us subliminals. He's saying, man, y'all niggas was that mad. Y'all had that much love for Nick? Meaning, cowboy. Probably big homie, big you. We don't know. But definitely, cowboy. Why that man was still running around for 48 hours, bro? Let's continue, man. Rest in peace to Nick, man. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to put everybody out there, but it's just like, ah, miss me with that morning. Like, and that's, and that's one of the reasons why me and Cowboy's relationship is what it is. You get what I'm saying? Like, you keep on trying to put the guilt off on everybody else. Man. You was there. You didn't throw a, a rock at that dude. You didn't even scream, hey, shoot me, none of that. You didn't, hey, you didn't even startle him. You didn't come outside. You hit up under the cash register, up under the, in there, like, you know what I'm saying? You were there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's speak on that. You was there on the scene. All you, all you could do is go get this name and go report it to the police. You supposed to be the big homie, that lay star chucks and all this that you be talking on all these interviews and all that, bro. You get what I'm saying? Like, come on, cuz, you, you, you gave the authorities he got 60 years. He could live for 60 more years. Why Nip gone? Shout out to Brick, baby, man. Absolutely true on that. Y'all see that like? Smash that like button, man. Do me that favor if you haven't hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Brick, baby, once again. Salute from the east to the west because he absolutely right. This what I've been screaming for the whole time. Where was you, bro? You was high behind the counter. What was you doing? And I don't want to hit, man, listen, you knew there was tension once this dude pulled up in the parking lot, big homie, what we talking about here? And I'm talking to Cowboy. You knew there was tension. You seen the other homie walk to the car, meaning Rand Paul, allegedly supposed to grab the strap, or walk back. So you see the whole movement and attention that was going on. But no, let me go take a 10-minute break in the back by right court. Let me go punch in for my 15-minute break and go eat my lunch, right? That's what you want to do? Like you working at Amazon or something. Let's get to that part. 
You could have ate that meal right there in the parking lot holding your little homie down. No, I don't believe that, bro. It's no way in the world you just would have left. Where in the back room? No, because you felt that tension once every pull, once every approach job. You felt that tension. Let's go back to memory lane, what you said. Since your memory so fried, allegedly. Oh, when he walked up, I said he was high up. You know what I mean? It looked like he was high up a crystal map or something. This is words coming out your mouth in the interview. You said Eric looked like he was high when he walked up to y'all. So as a person I used to, and what you said in your interview, I used to get high, so he can't fool me. Eric looked like he was high. So if he looked like he was high from a person that know that lifestyle, whatever type of drug Eric was on, that's your tent supposed to be even up more, big homie. What are we talking about here? But no, you want to go take a 15-minute break in the back room and go clock in like you're getting paid, like you work at Amazon or something, right? That's what we do. That's what we're doing now. But ran back when the homie was laid out, though, right? And then hold up, hold up, let let this marinate. Ran back while the homie was laid out. Then ain't go jump in this car and go try to go find this nigga. You ain't do none of that. A nigga like me, if I would have seen my little nigga that I know that's bringing the revenue, showing all this love to us, got my life straightened out, got my bank account right. Oh, I'm jumping in that car and I'm going to go look for that nigga. Let's get to that part. And I'm making them phone calls and we're going to make sure we find this nigga before the authorities find this nigga. That part. What are we talking about here? Allegedly. And everything I speak on is alleged. That's what I would have did. There's no way in the world I'm going to let a homie like that lay down on the floor and for he's running, he's running around 48 hours and the authorities get their hands on him. You gave that name up, man. Because allegedly all this was a play. That's why. <laughs> you went to court to make sure Eric don't say nothing. You went to court to make sure you put some type of fear and let Eric know continue with this play. Allegedly. And everything I speak on is alleged. That what was going on throughout this whole trial. That's why none of the homies from, from, from All Money In, meaning Nick label, all them niggas that's under Nick, that's why none of them niggas came to court. Because they know, allegedly, they know this is a play that was going on on their homie. You went to court to show that nigga, Eric, yo, continue with the play. We can't hear from Eric. Eric is cool, cool right now. He's 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 in another world right now. But like Brick Baby said, he could sit down and do 60, 30 years, come on. He still could come home and live. He, You telling me everybody in the prison system going to go, no, it's some people, it's not everybody they ain't rock with Nick. Let's get to that part. So he's going to have some niggas that's going to rock with him, meaning Eric, Eric Holder. He's going to have some, like I said, you could be part of a family, but not the whole family going to love you. There's clicks. It's, 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 break, it's broken down. You got 20 over there, 20 over here, 20 over here, but y'all rep the same family. But that doesn't mean all four of them blocks get along with each other. Let's get to that part. So when he entered the prison system and whatever, years from now and all this, whatever, I'm pretty much sure he's going to have niggas rolling with him, meaning Eric. The only thing he got to do is just survive. It's crazy. And he's still bringing revenue for himself in the future because he can make interviews. You know how much he's going to profit out of this when he snap out of that cool cool they got him on, allegedly? Come on, man. Think about that. They trying to come put... You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to put everybody out there. Let's continue though. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel because this right here got me like, it got me on a hundred. Because the reason why? Because this man was still running around for 48 hours, bro. Let's continue though. He can get married and still procreate. He can still have babies. He can still be a king from in there. You get what I'm saying? He can still be a king in there. And how many times that happened? Nah, I smoke that snip though. I just told y'all not everybody loves nip. Who got a lot of love inside of that system? Allegedly. That did a lot of years and got a lot of respect when he came on and respect in there. Big U, right? Allegedly. And everything I speak on is alleged. But he got a lot of respect inside there, right? Big U. Big U could walk in there right now, nigga. Ain't nothing going to happen to Big U, nigga. All them niggas going to follow Big U. Am I lying? What are we talking about here? So if this is a play, nigga, <laughs> Eric is good. Let's continue, though. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Because I got a lot more to say. He can get married and still procreate. He can still have babies. 
He can still be a king from in there. You get what I'm saying? You you didn't you didn't shut down Cub program like you were supposed to. Cuz easily accessible. You get what I'm saying? Like, 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 let's be real. You would have let him sit on the streets and he didn't have no warrant for his arrest. He would have been back around. Just like y'all did all that surfing, because y'all didn't know his, his, his name. I don't know how y'all got his name, however, but just like y'all put that energy in it, telling them, cuz, y'all could have found the address. Nipsey is, 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 is loved by a lot. Motherfucker could have went to the DMV and damn near ran his name and got his address. You get what I'm saying? Like, they would have gave it to you. Just being, you know what I mean? Like, man, this Nipsey, that's who killer can we get the address they damn near would have did it without even having the inside bro so it's just like like certain motherfuckers gotta miss me with all that morning like i i don't, I don't be with all that because you wasn't trying to y'all gangbangers everybody is sitting back like they not gang members at this point you get what i'm saying like even P and B rock dudes they was trying to come down here and get their man they exactly Rest in peace to P and B. Wow, we're about to continue. But see, that's why I rock with Brick on this on this situation we was talking about. Because y'all could have found Eric in 48 hours, bro. Somebody gave that name up so the authorities could find him quicker before the before the you know what I mean? Before the family find him. The niggas that do rock with Nick. Think about that. Just think about that. 48 hours. Nick got knocked off March 31st. I want to say what well, um, late morning early afternoon around there knocked off no matter of fact it was on mid-afternoon so it happened like three o'clock because we seen the whole footage with the time so it was like three it was mid-afternoon this going to april 1st now eric's still on the run and on april 2nd eric's still on the run but eventually eric tried to check himself in the mental we're going to get to the news how he got caught so y'all can get a reminder how he got caught allegedly somebody seen him and oh that looked like eric and they called the police no that ain't what happened like Brick Baby said, somebody tipped them off and gave them the Eric Holder name, everything. They gave him the whole information about this dude. Eric, um, he haven't been in the city, haven't been in the cars in years, in the hood in years. Them civilians that was out there, Brick Baby saying, he said, man, them people ain't really know Eric, man. They ain't know his real name. How many people y'all know in the hood? Y'all only know these niggas by these street names. Y'all don't even know the guy. Y'all don't know their government name at all. How many people live? I mean, come on, let's be serious. We live in we live in hoods in urban cities. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All shout out to all my other people. We've been living in hoods, man. Sometimes, man, I know niggas. I knew them by their nickname. They didn't even know their goddamn government. And still call them by their nickname to this day as a grown ass man. Some of them I still don't know their government. Let's get to that part. And I pretty much sure y'all do too. So what we'll make you think Brick Baby ain't, 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 ain't telling the truth here? A lot of people didn't know shitty shitty name, bro. Let's go back to the big homie. Oh yeah, you know, I knew I knew Eric when he was young, this and that and all this. But niggas knew him. He's part of your family. He went to high school around there with Nippin' him, so niggas know. So who gave the name up? He said he talked to Rand Paul. Obviously it wasn't Rand Paul because he said Cowboy gave that government name up. Go back. What I just placed, I talked to Rand Paul. I, 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 you know, niggas, niggas, niggas was gonna get at him, but the authorities got at him. The authorities, the, 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 the law, the law caught him first. That's what he's trying to say, Brick Baby. He's breaking it down to subliminals, man. Let's continue, though. Either way, you know what I mean? Y'all see that like? Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video, man. Either way, you know what I mean? So, you know, I, I don't know. I just feel like shouldn't nobody have told on that man being a gangbanger. They trying to come pull up to the parking lot like it's not. Pardon me. We're going to go back to what he said, P&B rocking them dudes and all that. Nah, man. Rest in peace to P&B rock. I skipped it. Let's go back though. They trying to come pull up to the parking lot like it's not smart. But it's like they ain't going for that. The Philly is really going crazy right now. They not going for the my man's got killed out there and it's just cool. Let's alert that. Even though he got caught by the police, it wasn't because of them. You get what I'm saying? That's my hug. Like, uh, Pop Smoke. That's another example. The Wu is beefing with Hoovers in way in 
Timbuktu. Way in, in New York, they tripping. Can't even come outside type. You know what I mean? Like, like, like they wanted to get they man. Didn't nobody alerted the authorities and went there and cooperated and did all they did. Like, all right, if it's a female around, you could damn near bet that's gonna happen. Either, either way, you know what I mean? So, you know, I, I don't know. I just feel like shouldn't nobody have told on that man being a gangbanger and all that. I doubt Nipsey wanted y'all to tell on him. And I say that all the time, like, go get your man, go put him to sleep. If that's the case, I don't give a fuck. However y'all, however y'all want to view me, y'all want to, you know what I mean? For my my opinions, but on 6 so I get cracking. And that's just what I stand on. And the mother, y'all know what's up with me. Everybody, they know what's up. So I don't got nothing else to talk about about that. It's just, I don't agree with the series of events afterwards. So if it look like I'm standing on this side because I'm checking gangbangers that's acting like on camera, you acting like a yeah, I'm saying something about it. Like, and we, we don't cry when our homie, yeah, we gonna drop a tear or two, but you know what we gotta do after that. You signed up with the gangland. Cause you on the news talking about uh, he was out of pocket for murder. And man, come on, man. Yo, need to get hit. Exactly. And he talking about the big homie, Cowboy. You knew what you, come on, that's what gets me mad because he an OG, he had to talk, oh, I shoot fades and all this, and yeah, you know, niggas know how I do this and that, and the, you know, that's how he talk. But like Brick Baby said, you knew what you signed up for way back, you an OG, what we talking about here? And you telling me when you heard them shots, you ain't come outside, you ain't, nah, man, you supposed to be yak, like, yo, what the hell just happened? Hold up, you supposed to look at Rimpo, nigga, you supposed to hook off on Rimpo for him even running. Allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged. You supposed to hook off on shoot a fade with Red Paul right there because he ran. Jump in your car and go try to find that nigga. What we talking about here? Y'all seen what car he pulled up in? Y'all knew exactly who he was because you heard Red Paul. You said to yourself in all these interviews, you heard Red Paul and Nip say, Yo, who that? That shitty cuz. Yeah, that shitty cuz. Y'all want that is gonna play out. You said that while you were standing there with your food, with your lunch. About to go take your 15 minute break though, right? You say you heard all this, bro. You said this, and you tell. That's why we need that. That's why we need that T-shirt footage. I'm telling y'all, man, we need that inside footage because that's gonna show a lot. And I think Black Sand don't want to put it out because it's gonna expose Cowboy probably, allegedly. And everything I speak on is alleged. It's gonna expose Cowboy. He probably was back there. He probably wasn't even hiding. Nigga probably was just comfortable as hell back there on his phone or something. We don't know. He said he ate, boom, heard the shots. He, I mean, he ran. He said he ran to the front, ran through three doors. He said, yeah, I had to run through three doors back, but I got the nip, though. Yeah, you got the nip, but you ain't jumping your car to go look for that nigga, though. He still running around 48 hours, like Brick Baby said. Hold up, man. This, this, this will refresh people's mind right quick, because people probably think, probably think I'm lying about the 48 hours thing. Let me show y'all something. What that say right there? The latter charges involving the wanted two other people in the March 31st, 2019 shooting. Holder was arrested on April 2nd and charged days later. But he got arrested April 2nd. Got arrested two days later. Damn near 48 hours we talking about here. And who gave up his name? How the hell they even had his whole government? Let's get to that part. Like Brick Baby said, he hadn't been he hadn't been around the hood in years. That's why it goes back to what I was saying. This junk is kind of spooky and suspicious. Now you bring the nigga back to the hood to go handle a mission that haven't been around the hood in years. You confront him and talk about some snitch allegations that Big U allegedly got an audio on that whack Hunter speaking on. Who was we to say that didn't get back to on um, to Eric? Who is we to say they ain't put the battery on his back and told him, yo, go approach that? Who is we to say he ain't taking orders from Big U? And if you don't take these goddamn orders, allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged, nigga, we gonna, nigga, we gonna get your ass up out of here. So go handle that for us. And we got a little reward for you when you come home years later, nigga. And while you in prison, nigga, you can live good in there. Allegedly. Brick Baby just told y'all that nigga could do, he could be living like a king in prison, man. Have babies, do all types of shit, contact, phone, and everything. Why the late Grick, why the late Nip is up there though, right? Rest in peace, Nip. 
Come on, bro. You can't get no man. This is nasty work, man. But I want y'all to see this news clip and where Eric got arrested. Y'all see that like button? Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. Philippine News, the gang member suspected of gunning down rapper Nipsey Hussle is captured in Bellflower. Police say that Eric Holder and Nipsey Hussle actually knew each other. Gigi Rossiette is live in the Hyde Park outside the Marathon Clothing Store with the very latest on this connection. Good morning. Good morning, Aroxy and Tony. Good morning, everyone. Let's get straight to the video showing Eric Holder being taken into custody. It is official. The man police say shot and killed Nipsey Hussle is under arrest. 29-year-old Eric Holder found in Bellflower yesterday after someone called police to report seeing a man they thought looked a lot like Holder on the 9900 block of Artesia Boulevard in Bellflower. L.A. County. They said it, somebody called the police. And they say, yo, that looked like Eric, and that's how they called him. Man, man, yo, man. Oh, my God, bro. Yo, who's lying? Who tipped the police off? Who called the police, told Eric, like, yo, man, nigga, you got to go, you got to go check yourself in. Go turn yourself in, bro, because this ain't looking good. Who told Eric to do that? Because he ran straight to a mental spot. Who told him to do that, bro? Why he ain't go out of state? Why he ain't keep it running? Why he ain't try to get up out of here? I would think as a as a person that just knocked off a high profile person, man, I go to prison. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me in there too, allegedly. So why so comfortable getting arrested? Y'all get what I'm saying? And then he only gets sixty. Y'all sixty to life. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all can give time back on good behavior after you do about twenty five years or something, bro. What we talking about here? Thirty years, man. That man, what, twenty nine years old? He could come home in his late fifties. When Eric Holder got arrested, he was twenty nine years old. Nick was thirty three. When Eric come home. He's going to be in his late 50s. Y'all telling me that still ain't? How many niggas we see come on looking good in their late 50s and all that? Doing like 30 joints, 25, 28 joints. Think about that. That's why I'm telling you, Brick got a point on that, man. Who tipped the authority off and gave Eric Holder his whole goddamn information, his name and everything? Why the family didn't go out there and try to look for that nigga that whole 48 hours? The big cowboy in the parking lot drinking fifth and henny. Remember in the interview, man, I was drinking a fifth and henny. No, I mean, this is... Nigga, this is knocked off the money machine. Do I got to remind you again? This is knocked off your little homie, the money machine that was bringing all this revenue. Got your life together. And you telling me, you seen the person. <laughs> Let this marinate. You seen the person pulled up in the car, car description, everything. And you telling me you was out there drinking a fifth of Hennessy, bro? You wasn't out there trying to find that nigga, no, not allegedly. You wasn't doing none of that if you had so much love for Nick. Now, we don't know what Black Sam and them niggas was doing. We don't know what they was doing. Like I said, this is two different groups we're talking about here. This is Nick Little Group, his brother Black Sam, and all the niggas that was under all money in. Them niggas probably was trying to go find that nigga, allegedly. And then Pa was very close to him. He got caught by the authorities, though. What a coincidence. Why that boy didn't run? Why he ain't keep it moving? Why he ain't go state to state? Why go check in and be like, all right, I'm the man that did it. I'm, but I'm crazy, though. You could get knocked off in prison. And he's still, he, he's still there. How long it been? Five years out? Yeah. Oh, but he got lumped up. You know, they put some hands on him. Oh, that's all they did to him? Y'all got to remember, Nip can't see his kids no more, mom, dad, what I mean, wife, Lord Lauren London, friends, close friends, that really loved him. He, he, they can't see him no more. Like Brick said, this nigga can still be seen. He can, he can, he can, he can make babies in there, all types of shit, get visits. Come on, what are we talking about here? We know how that world is in there. You can live like a king in there. But we don't got the great Nip out here, though. Let that marinate. I'm telling y'all, he's gonna be one of those dudes that's gonna drop an audio book to give it. When he, whenever he dropped that first interview, 
Y'all know how much money Eric gonna make out that first interview when he speak about this, when the time is right. Think about that, y'all. Y'all know how much money he gonna, especially with the YouTube. Oh, forget about it. All these platforms gonna be trying to get interviews from on the phone. And you know how much they gonna pay for that, bro? That's why Brick Baby said that. They gave him 60. He could still live his life in there. Why y'all get the authorities though? Why y'all why, why the authorities all of a sudden had his information, all that? But the, the family, what Brick trying to say is people knew who Eric, where Eric families lived at. Nah, smoke, they knocked off some of his family. Listen, I don't care. He still he is that gonna bring Nick back? Did, did, did them people the ones that did that to Nick? Every day while that man living in prison for all these years, nigga, that's still going to be hurting Nick kids and everything. What we talking, knowing that that nigga still living in prison and probably living a good life in there. What are we talking about here? That part. All his kids got to live through that. And his family. Why the family ain't... Why he's still in there after five years? I just said that in my last video. Y'all forgot how that shit works. See you open the door, bloop, unlock that, unlock that cell, boom, go handle y'all business. A legend. Everything I speak on is a legend. Go handle y'all business. They walk, they run up in there. It's go time, nigga. Yeah. It's, yeah. Y'all already know what it is. That's what they supposed to have done to him. Am I lying? How many times we see this shit and yeah, you know, nigga got stabbed all up. You know what I mean? Niggas open up cell up and nothing. They try to kill him in that cell. Why that happened? Why we haven't heard that for um well, he got pulled one time. I'm talking about a real, real run up. Niggas that run up in your cell, two, three niggas, nigga. You ain't, you ain't running, you ain't making it about that type of, that type of action. It's something funny about the situation, y'all. Keep telling y'all. It was a play. And he was the downfall for it. He was the one that was, he was the one that was wanted to do it, crash out, and, and just and live like live large and there. Pause. If I can't live out here, nigga, I might as well live in there, nigga. And that's exactly what they were going to do. Wasn't getting to no type of bag out here in the real world. What are we talking about here? Wasn't getting to no type of bag in the real world. But in there, he could get to some type of bags in there when he already got money already up front for it. <laughs> for completing the mission, allegedly. Come on. Come on, man. What are we talking about? What are we talking about here, man? Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Do me that favor. Nip, when it when it went down, the whole time, you know, the whole time I was holding my food right there, and and the the, the thing that that stick in my mind that always haunt me is like when when the dumb nigga, when the dumb weird motherfucking Eric pulled up, and and Nip Nip looked at Rimpo and he say, uh, "Is that Eric?" And then Rimpo like, "Yeah." And I, I distinctly looked at Nip and, and I heard him saying to himself, I wonder how this is going to unfold. And that, you know, and that fucks me up. Then at one point in time while Eric was talking to him, Nip never, never disrespected that man. Nip never caught that man a stitch, a snitch. I, I, I was right there. I listened to the whole fucking conversation. So that wasn't true. Everybody. This whole thing is right. And I'm going to say one thing before I get out of here. If y'all read this whole narrative of what's going on, Nip never called them a snitch. So then you sit back, right, as, as us, as fans and as people that's looking to the situation, because Black Sam opened it, you know what I mean? He opened the box. Pause. When he did that interview, he opened everybody's minds up even more. So he would... Black Sam is the one that actually did the shot to Black Sam, and it's only right because he knows what's going on. That's his brother. But if, when you look back and sit back, y'all, he ran to a mental spot, right? Yeah, smoke. That's where he got caught at. All right. You hear what this dude saying. Yo, he ne never called him a snitch, this, that, and the third. You see the footage. That footage in a way, see, Eric messed up in the first time. He kind of backtracked on what he supposed to have done. Like Black Sam said, he, he he got shaky the first time. But what I'm trying to say is, it's like they're trying to back his narrative of his narrative of being crazy. 
Y'all get what I'm trying to say here? Because if a nigga run into a crazy uh, mental spot, they already circling saying that shitty um Eric Holder or whatever is kind of not, he don't got it all up top. He kind of bugged out. He's saying that basically, yo, Nick never called him a snitch. So for him to react like that, he got to be bugged out, mentally kind of bugged out, right? Am I, am I tripping it? So he's kind of backing, backing the story for Holder also. Because my thing is, what is your point of view going to court saying, yo, I had to let the world know Nick ain't call him a snitch. Okay, what is the point of that though? What kind of justice? What kind of like? What, what like? What, that's the that's the bomb of the whole situation. Like that's the clue. No, that ain't the big situation. That ain't the big clue, nigga. So what, what's the point of you even backing that up? Who cares about that? Nip ain't call him a snitch. So basically, okay, he ain't no snitch because there's no paperwork out on, on, on Eric Holder on whatever situation they, he allegedly supposed to have been a snitch on. But then his other interview saying that Nip telling him, yo, it's paperwork out there. Go check that out, cuz. So your whole stories are all mixed up. And then it seemed like you're trying to take up for the mentally, allegedly trying to be mental person. You're trying to make it seem like he got a little mental problem also the way you be speaking about it. Y'all get my y'all get what I'm trying to say here. Y'all get what I'm trying to paint the picture for y'all. That's 60 years he got. That shit gonna drop down, man. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I'm trying to tell y'all that because they still don't got the whole real story of the narrative, the real story of why this man did that. We all just assume it, and the only person been talking is cowboy because we reacting to what he's saying. We don't hear nobody else talking. It's only cowboy and the main thing, yo, my boy, they call him a snitch. We don't care about that. We want to know what the hell was really going on here. Who was the real conversation about? Old girl went to the room with the detectives, told her that Eric was calling him a snitch. Yo, cuz, man, you a snitch and all this. That's what the old girl was saying. So it's like a, it's like a couple, somebody in my comments said they think old girl part of the play too, allegedly. She probably is, but she got immunity. She good. Who's with it saying she don't got a little bag in the back end? <laughs> because she really didn't say nothing to harm every case. She just said what's what she seen. That's it. She didn't give us no details of what he was talking about, why they was driving on the way there, nothing. She didn't give us no good information. She was playing dumb. Oh, he never told me in the car. Remember, go back and watch the court. Watch the trial. Read a statement. She said that. She said, yo, they wasn't speaking about that while they was on their way to that parking lot, to the burger spot. Come on, man. So if nobody ain't speaking, he ain't speaking about it. That's a mission. That's a mission to be quiet. Let me go handle that. Let me go get my glizzy. Come me ate a hot dog. Let me go get my chili glizzy. Eat that while I'm walking down the alleyway and go handle this. No type of running motion. No type of hurry up. Nothing. This straight just walking. Like he's ready, like, you know what I mean? What I'm about to do, I'm signing up for this. So I already know what's going on. That type of attitude. That's the type of attitude Eric had. He only ran back to the alleyway. He didn't even run. He like skipped through the alleyway. It's crazy, man. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy, bro. Let's play that one, that part right quick when he ran through the alleyway for the people that haven't seen it. Shout out to Street TV too, man. We're gonna play the clip when he was walking towards on um, there. We're gonna play the alleyway clip. And look how calm this dude is eating his glizzy, his hot dog, and all that. Put it on top of the car and walk towards Nick. Do me a favor, smash that like button.
Do that look like a man walking towards them, panicking? Let me ask y'all that question. Y'all just seen him. Now, we seen the running part. He ran, but it looked like he was skipping. He wasn't even running fast, to be honest. That part. He had to wear a shirt on. But when he first was walking towards them, he had a whole glizzy in his hand, ate that bit, that hot dog, put it on top of the car, whatever, and walked towards them. That looked like a nigga like, yo, listen, a legend. Everything I speak on is a legend. That looked like somebody that's about, I'm about to go do this mission. I already know what's coming with this. One thing I got to do is stay away from his, his friends and his, his his close ones so they won't, they won't get their hands on me. That's what Eric, that's the whole mission, man. He know ain't nobody from the family, from, from the other side, whatever, that, that's against Nip, allegedly. He know they ain't going to touch him because he allegedly got sent from them people. So the only people he really got to worry about is like Black Sam and the niggas that's really going to put their hands on him and make them, and make them tell him, listen, if the, man, listen, man. If Black Salmon number anybody would have them people that love Nick would have caught that boy, allegedly, they would have got that information out for themselves. And he would and Eric probably wouldn't have been here. Allegedly. That's why Brick Baby is he's rolling his eyes while he's talking. When y'all watch that interview again, look at his eyes, he rolled his eyes, he, he's giving us subliminals. He's like, yo, they did that for a reason. They gave they gave every this whole information to the police so they could have a manhunt on that nigga. So the street politics won't even get close to him. Don't that make sense? You can't get close to him if you got the whole authority on you. You on TV and anything. Now you got to run to the mental place, allegedly act like you cuckoo like he doing now. Then you got Cowboy making it seem like he really is cuckoo. Oh, he never said, I mean, that never called him a snitch. Oh, and other, I don't know why he did that, man. It was just a regular comment. You making it seem like something was wrong with him. You went to court to let that nigga know the plays the plays to be continued. That's what you went to court for, Tom Cowboy. Allegedly, the hell you gonna go to court for just to tell the world he nip and call him a snitch? Like that's gonna help the case? What the hell that's gonna do? Nothing. Anybody ever thought about that? Nigga only went to court to to, to look at Eric while he cool cooled out to let that nigga know the plays to be continued, nigga. Oh, I went to court just to tell the world that Nick didn't call him a snitch. Man, we want to know what the hell was, what was it on Eric Mind to go do that? Who sent him there? What was the point of that? That's what the alien whole world want to know, nigga. We don't care about that. Oh, let me go do this and they act like I'm cuckoo after that. That's what Eric doing now, right? Man, that boy going to make so much money when he snap out and do these interviews. Me and Eric Holder. Allegedly. You know how many interviews and auto books he could do and and, and, and name and drop bombs in the book and all that. Because remember, Black Sam ain't got nothing to do with ever dropping books and autos and all that. They can't do nothing. Somebody in my comments said that, pardon me, if Cowboy drop a book and said that Black Sam Piper sue Possible and all that. But if Eric do that, they can't do nothing. What, what can they do? He eating. He going to eat off the, all that. He going to eat off all this. He gonna make all his money off this. Oh, you best believe that. You best believe that. When he snap out that little cuckoo thing he doing allegedly. Sad moment, man. It's a sad moment. But like I said, man, 48 hours, they couldn't get their hands on Eric. Let that marinate. Forty-eight hours, they could they couldn't find Eric, right? One and that big you got all the connect. Think about that. Think about that, y'all. Cowboy supposed to be riding around every day looking for that car. Am I lying? What are we talking about here? You're supposed to be on a hunt that whole 24 hours. Oh, you in the parking lot drinking a fifth. What? Well, you were celebrating because you knew that you knew you had some money coming to you. That's why you was drinking that fifth. Crying a little bit for your little homie, but you were celebrating more because you knew you had some money coming to you. Allegedly. That's why you was drinking that fifth in that parking lot. Cowboy. You got to do better, big homie. You might as well just come out and say you messed up, man. That's it, man. Because the more you talking, the more the more other people talking and breaking things down on. It's crazy. Brick Baby just had a whole opinion on this. And that opinion is straight up right, man. He right on this. Shout out to Brick Baby, though, man. I'm up out of here, man. It's your boy Smoke News TV. If they know, they know, gang. You already know the vibe. <coughs>
<coughs> that part. <coughs> Manja. Y'all see that like though? Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video, man. Like one up two for Nip. Y'all already know the vibe. Rest in peace to Nip, man. Rest in peace to the great Nip. Whole play. Everything I say, think about that. 48 hours, y'all. 48 hours. <laughs> I'm out of here. Salute, gang.